guys in today's video I am sharing with you my 11th and 12th week pregnancy update hi guys if we did not meet before my name is Jana and currently I am 12 weeks pregnant with my third child I have two other boys so five and a half two and a half and currently I am 12 weeks pregnant so um, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in the previous video when I went for my first like official ultrasound even though my OBGYN gave me a quick little ultrasound right there at the office just to see if the heartbeat was there uh, then they sent me for the blood work and for like a real serious bigger ultrasound so they moved my due date a week ahead of time so I think it was March 21st or something like this and they moved it to March 15th so that's my official due date which I am still thinking that it might be still um, all of my babies somehow are born a little bit earlier so my expectation I think it would be I think it would be very difficult if I will go overdue date I, which I don't think I will but whatever <laughs> that's not the point here my official due date is in March so I'm official 12 weeks pregnant 12 weeks and one day at the time of the recording of this video so I thought I would share with you what is going on how I feel how my body feels and what the baby looks like a little bit and then I will show you my belly so I have definitely felt better than I did last week a few weeks ago I definitely have way less fatigue than I had like well a few weeks ago because I was literally so tired a lot throughout the day and like by the end of the day I was worthless I had no energy left and I could just lay down and like do nothing I, I actually cried one time or a few times just because of how tired I was it, it happens to me sometimes when I'm like extremely exhausted that I just cry from the tiredness so that happened and yeah these few weeks were definitely a little bit better however by the end of the day when eight o'clock hits I'm like okay I'm like ready to go lay down and do nothing which is fine because I have been waking up earlier as well it has been 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. wake up time for me sometimes I still sleep in there until 7 o'clock or something but in the most of the cases I don't sleep that late so I'm like okay at least I'm not uh, losing a lot of time for for sleep but yes by the end of the day I'm pretty tired and throughout the day I do have moments when I'm like Oh, I just need to sit down or lay down for a few moments because I because I am a little bit tired but it, it has definitely has improved from what it was the same thing with nausea I'm definitely feeling way better and I don't feel like I do want to throw up as much as I used to but I definitely still feel it and it's not it's very light but I do feel it and it's not very pleasant. So I'm really hoping that it will go away within these few weeks just because of like my past experience with my two other pregnancies that normally my nausea goes away around 13th, 14th week. So that's what my hope is. But yes, I do still feel a little bit of nausea. Food definitely helps because when I'm eating, I do feel good right away because as the food comes in, I'm like, oh, that tastes good. Even though the thought of eating is not exciting to me, but when I start eating, no matter what it is, I feel like if I would eat anything, I probably would still enjoy it. But it's just like, I'm um, thinking, do I want some of this or that? And then I make myself something small and then um, then I eat it and it definitely makes me feel better. And so we're like talking about the food now, food cravings. It was interesting because it's just keeps staying kind of the same I do want ketchup like if it is a salty food that can have ketchup in it I probably would I'm going to choose to have a little bit of ketchup in it potatoes were another thing that I really want to eat a lot once a day sometimes even twice a day I enjoy either like vegetable soups or meat meaty soups or fried potatoes or like boiled potatoes just like yeah I just enjoy potatoes and then sandwiches I used to not eat a lot of bread at all before I got pregnant and right now I'm eating two to three times more bread than I used to so I basically might make myself toast and then I put on it whatever I feel like I want other than that like I don't feel like I have like very extreme cravings with food the interesting part is that my sweet 
desire for sweets is coming back i'm not sure if you saw my previous pregnancy updates or no but i i did have a very sweet tooth i would eat a lot of sweets throughout the day before i was pregnant and the moment i got pregnant i'm like i don't want sweets anymore it was very unusual that i did not crave any sugar and um yes i haven't eaten much of anything for these few months and only these few weeks that i'm like oh i wouldn't mind having a little bit of candy or a little bit like a small piece of cake or something like this and it actually brings me joy a little bit just because i do love sweets so i'm like oh it's like good old time so it's fun for me to be able to eat things that i used to enjoy when i'm a little sad that i cannot um make myself want coffee which is like coffee is everywhere everyone loves coffee it's like everyone drinks it all the time everywhere so i just remembered how much i liked it and right now just thinking about having coffee or like this potentially experiencing the smell of coffee makes me slightly nauseous which i know that when i go on a sunday mornings at our church we have coffee time so i always get a cup of coffee and it it is good i enjoy it very much and it does not make me nauseous but the thought of making it for myself and then having smell in my house for some reason does make does do it to me so yes i did not drink any coffee i mean on Sundays is the only time when I do get a little bit of like have mostly decaf and a tiny bit of caffeinated but yeah it's like I just didn't want it and that makes me sad a little bit just because I remember how much pleasure coffee brought to me but I am very sure that it will come back it's just at the moment when you feel nauseous it's like oh I don't want it <laughs> so the the hope is that it all goes back to normal at some point of time. And now talking about liquids, um, I do not want to drink juices as much as I used to in the beginning of my pregnancy. Juices would make me feel better. Now I don't want to. I do not want to drink juices. But what I mostly drink is bottled water. I the pop filtered uh, tap water. Still, I do taste something that I do not like and I cannot make myself drink it so I have been drinking bottled water because um, it I do like the flavor of it and that helps me stay hydrated because I'm not sure again if you did see anything prior to this video or no that I was talking about but yes uh, my cousin uh, who is pregnant currently too uh, her mom mentioned to me that she got dehydrated and she was actually at the hospital getting IVs with uh, liquids and I am strongly suspecting that that was the reason why she probably was very nauseous and just she couldn't make herself drink so I'm like okay even though it cost money and I feel money is not even the issue because the huge we buy our water at Costco and it's like a huge thing of water is like $2.99 so basically three dollars for a bunch of water but it's the pollution that mostly bothers me I'm like so much plastic that I'm going through but I cannot not drink it so I am doing it I am drinking bottled water for now and then I will see how I feel later and obviously when I can switch to the tap water I will but for now that's what I'm mostly drinking because it makes me feel good and I can tolerate the taste as for the extra um, symptoms uh, that are coming in uh, these two weeks was headaches which I normally never have headaches. If I have a headache, it means some, that something is really wrong with me. I like need to go to sleep, I'm sick or whatever. I did have a few very strong headaches, like really painful in the morning once when I woke up and then a few times throughout the day. It was very few times, but that's what I experienced. I'm like, okay, that's pregnancy related. And I'm pretty sure that was in the symptoms in my apps. I'm like, okay, that's normal, that's okay. My sense of smell is still super strong. I smell everything everything bad makes me extra nauseous and whatever smells good I'm like oh just give me more of it but yes I do smell things very strongly right now I have super oily skin on my face the well basically everything what is it tea not even tea it's like an eye my chin my forehead and my nose are super oily so I wipe it off with a wet paper towel multiple times a day and my skin is still like I see it getting less perfect than it was. I do have a varicose vein on the back, on the 
top part of my thigh on the back side of my leg and with my second pregnancy i remember suffering pretty badly that it hurt and it was like warm and it was pretty uncomfortable so once the when i gave birth it kind of went away even though i did still feel a little bit of uncomfort of uncomfort a little bit of uncomfort so i really wanted to take care of it and uh, try to get rid of that vein but life was busy i didn't get to talk to the doctor to get connected with a, a vein doctor or whatever they're called so now i'm pregnant again and this week i started feeling the that vein way more it's a lot more visible maybe not visible i'm not sure how it's how it shows just because it's on the back of my leg i don't see it as often like i don't i would not recognize the visual changes in it just because it's difficult for me to see but touch wise i definitely can can feel more bumps and it is it does hurt more often so i'm a little scared with um that it is kind of early i do not remember with my second pregnancy when it started bothering me really badly but i am just hoping that i can get through this pregnancy and not suffer too too much but it it does start bothering me a little bit more right now another symptom that i'm pretty sure is super common right now as well is that my stomach like the bottom of my stomach feels extra not crampy but like muscles feel a little bit achy which um, I think again, it's like stretching, everything loosens up, so I'm pretty sure it's very normal, but it is a little bit uncomfortable and I have to be very careful with like moving around. If I'm laying down, I can't just jump out of bed. I need to be careful because I think it feels like I will hurt myself and give myself worse cramp. So I'm just very careful with like quick moves or like um, unusual moves with a larger kind of things that I need to do with my body and the last thing that I meant to mention uh, it is food related is that um, or I guess eating related is that I feel very stuffy my stomach feels like it doesn't digest food as fast as I would like it to even though my portions are pretty small I don't I don't want to eat a lot I feel gets I feel get stuffed very fast and then it feels for a very long time that food just sits in my stomach and it's not a very pleasant feeling but again whatever that's the way it goes as for the weight gain i currently this morning i weighed myself i normally i weigh myself naked this morning i forgot to do this so i wore the shorts and the t-shirt and i, oh, I was 144.9 so i'm assuming that I probably gained two pounds so far like if I would subtract my clothing I suspect that I gained two pounds so far based on the weight that I was before I was pregnant now let me tell you what my app says about the baby the baby is the size of a lime so this tiny so tiny supposed to be around two or two and a quarter of inches and a half an ounce tiny little cute little person and it looks like the development of the body looks so much like a real baby just a little bit bigger head but so cute and i think those are all the things that are happening in my life so far if you have any questions about pregnancy in general or specific to this period of time let me know if you are pregnant right now again message me either on social media or comment below this video um, and we can chat more about what's going on with you how you're feeling but yes otherwise um if you have any other comments leave them below but now let me show you my belly so here is the look from the front and from the side you can see it a little bit tiny bit um when i look at myself i definitely look pregnant to myself however people who um do not know me might just think that i have a slightly bigger belly but it is definitely well start sticking out a little bit more and uh, especially when i <laughs> breathe in so because i mean normally when i stand i just try to suck it in but like if i would relax it obviously would hang more but most of the times i try to bring my core in just a little bit but yes that's what it looks like you can see it started coming out and in the evenings i feel like it's definitely bigger than um 
then in the mornings oh that's right and if my body looks weird to you i have a really bad uh, scoliosis so my back this side of my back uh, is sticking out more than this one i have like it's like s curve so this part of my back is sticking out and this one so if you see See that it's weirdly this one this part is thicker than this one so that's that's the reason why but yeah for the most part the belly is coming out a little bit so exciting all right you guys thank you so much for watching i hope it was fun and interesting for you to see what's going on with my body how i am feeling and check in with the baby a little bit again if you're pregnant please leave me a comment below love to hear from you if you're not pregnant please leave me a comment below as well because i love hearing from anyone and if you have any particular questions motherhood work balancing work and life please leave me a comment below or a question here or again on social media i would love to try to answer your question and help you and i hope to see you in my next video have a wonderful day you guys bye bye